Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft Viking Heritage. And today I'm out here uh, at Kattegat. Uh, yeah, and uh, I will explain that a little bit later. Now I'm going to make some fire and uh, prepare a little uh, sausage I brought with me, and Cornelius is with me today also. And uh, out here on the beach uh, from October to, uh, to March, they're allowed to be free out here. So uh, it doesn't have to be in lease today. And it's very excited about that. So uh, yeah, hope we're having a good time out here. Just a short little video, and that I will also explain later. But now, see if I can get this fire started. Don't, no, no, it's not for you. Not for you. No. No. Not for you, Cornelius. You can have this one, and then leave mine alone. No, find your own stick, leave mine alone. Any bandits? You're a little bandit. Yeah. No. And when I left my house, I was out in the garden finding some some. Um, back from a uh, cedar we have and I hope it's dry enough so I can put this into fire. Let's see.
And again, my little fire kit from Beaver Bushcraft. Awesome. Yeah, and I got a couple of sausages. I was hoping I could find a stick out here, but there's no wood. That's also why I brought some firewood. But I'll uh, lay it there and then hope it will be, uh, be cooked there. It just has to be warmed up. And in the meanwhile, I can uh, put some water, water in. in. So I can have my coffee. And unfortunately today I forgot to bring my whiskey. Yeah, that's right. For the first time in in a while. But uh, since it's whiskey coffee, I think I'm able to make my little wink today. Yeah. Good strong coffee. Got a little bread. I can try to to warm up here too. You see Cornelius out there having a good time. Er det rigtigt, Cornelius? Er dejligt? It's great to be out here. Yeah, he loves walking in the water. He's not much of a swimmer, but he likes to play in the water. So, um, a good day for him too. Okay, huh? a good time. Well done. Yeah, yeah, that's how it goes. Are you thirsty? No, not like. No, go fast here. Yeah, I'll try it. Some water, and I'll take it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You don't like sausages, perhaps bread? No. Let's see if I can get this one over here. I like it anyhow. That's 
Godt. As I said before, Cornelius usually doesn't like such it, but today it's okay. I think he's a little bit hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't forget the salt today. Only the whiskey. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Mm -hmm. Så. Ja, nu. Getting there. It's beginning to boil, and uh, there's some sand in my cup. Don't know where that came. And yes, you know that? No. Yeah. Now it's boiling. I have to be careful. Yeah, it's a little bit cold today. So um, it's nice to have a warm cup of coffee out here. Yeah. And Cornelius is having a good time chasing the birds. <laughs> I guess you can hear the seagulls and then there are other birds here. Yeah, I think that will do. Then push this over and I'll take this one off. So, yep, it's hot. And uh, I just got enough firewood for making my my food and my coffee, so that's that's fine. Adios. There's a risk that other people are coming here. So I have to look after my little dog. Cornelius! Go everyone, and here's the wink. Cornelius! Yeah, and I almost didn't get my video done this week. Several reasons. First of all, it's not been a good weather. And it is not today, but yeah. I had to come out here and make my 
trip, my video uh, to Kattegat and uh, also have some trouble with my health. I think I got a little bit of flu or a cold, a little bit of fever and uh, yeah, uh, coughing a lot and sneezing. So, and you probably can hear that. Hear that. Um, but I was thinking, lots of you are sitting patiently waiting for my next video, so I wouldn't disappoint you. So I went out here and I'm glad I did because right here it's very snow wind in here. There's a little bit wind out there, but in here it's very quiet and uh, yeah, cozy and uh, Cornelius is having a good time. So all in all, a good day. And, uh, and as the title indicates, I'm at Kattegat. And I know a lot of you have been following the series uh, Vikings on the on television. And in that series, uh, they call the big town Kattegat. But it's never been a town. It's uh, water out here. And you can see it in this uh, map. Kattegat is a bit of water between Denmark and Sweden. And uh, yeah. I'm out here today. I don't live far away. The Limfjord that I live by is going out to the Kattegat this way and then uh, this water. If I sail this way, I'll get to Sweden and also uh, the capital of Denmark, um, Copenhagen. And if I go this way, I could go to Norway and round Skagen and down in Europe. So this is a very uh, busy water. Lots of ships are coming here and uh, the only thing, uh, it's very shallow water, so if you have to bait here, you have to go far out before it's going to be deep enough for you to swim. But uh, we have Westerhavet, the West Sea, and uh, it's much better. You only have to go out five meters and then uh, you can swim there. But uh, that was the story about Kattegat. I mentioned it before, uh, Kattegat was not a town, or is not a town in the Viking Age, but uh, the water between uh, Denmark and Sweden. So, Cornelius, come here, Cornelius. Yeah, he's very exploring today, if you can say that. Cornelius, come here, Cornelius. Oh, come on, now he comes. Yeah, they were gods. They were gods. Were erdygti. Were erdygti. Were very god to come. Yeah, they were gods. Come here. Yeah, you came when I called. It's a good dog. Yeah. Now it's time for a smoke. Oh yeah. It's actually very nice to be out here. And uh, most of my videos are made uh, from the forest. And um, those of you who know Denmark, you can see this map. Uh, we are surrounded by water everywhere. So. Um, and in the Viking Age, the water was very important. And this was the way we could travel uh, with boats to other uh, towns or uh, uh, parts of the country. Um, the roads were not very good, so the waterway was the best uh, highway for traveling back then in the Viking Age. And um, yeah, let's see if I can get some fire in here. Ah, uh, yeah. See if I can get some fire. Otherwise, I have a match. Ah. <laughs> Cornelius chasing seagulls. Yeah. And uh, another thing I would like to discuss with you is um, sometimes I get a comment that says don't make all those reviews of stuff uh, and I totally understand that but uh, then again I know a lot of you are very interested in, uh, in gear and uh, well most of my 
Viking gear I made myself, but there's also something I get from uh, people who are, uh, want me to promote their stuff, uh, Lufolk and so on, and um, I would like to do that, but it's mostly in my bushcraft video I make gear reviews, and um, the only thing I get, I get the, the item uh, that the companies are sending me, and they uh, ask me if I would like to show it in my videos and talk about it, if I like it, and uh, I get a lot of uh, um, emails every week from uh, companies that want me to uh, promote their gear, and sometimes even very expensive things like uh, electric bikes for two thousand dollars or so. Uh, and I say no to that. I only uh, review gears that I think could be interesting for you, that uh, I guess you would like to uh, buy or get it. Uh, I don't want to make uh, reviews of things that are not uh, in my style. They mostly have to be old school, at least, or uh, smart gear, I think. So um, that's my thoughts about uh, making reviews of gear. Uh, I think it's only about 10% of the, the request from the companies that I say yes to. And um, uh, perhaps only 5% because every week I get at least two emails with uh, people who are asking me to to make a review or something about the channel. So, uh, and I normally say no to that. Uh, and I have a company uh, that are sending me something for my next video. I hope you like that. I think it's a cool little thing, a little gadget that I know, uh, that I know much, that I know a lot of you also like. But I'm trying to make it so uh, it could be interesting for you. You can leave a comment, tell me if you think it's too much review I make. Um, again, I don't make it to uh, earn money or something. I primarily make it, uh, make the reviews so you can see some gear I think is awesome. And uh, maybe you could be interested in that too. That's my purpose by making these uh, reviews. I also like to uh, make, uh, to support small companies. Uh, in the beginning of my uh, career from uh, YouTube, I had a little company called PNW Bushcraft in the northern part of uh, the USA or Canada. And uh, yeah, at that time it was a little company and uh, I made a lot of videos promoting their stuff and I know they're very grateful for that. Uh, and also other companies that are small, uh, the companies that make these bracelets. Uh, also a small company, and when I make a review of that, they're very grateful for, uh, for me promoting that company. And we like to support those small companies too. Yeah. So that's uh, why I'm making reviews. And now I have to call for Cornelius again. Cornelius, come! Cornelius! And there's no more fire in my fire pit. So, matches. Cornelius! Cornelius! Ah, now I can't see him. Cornelius, come here! Now he's back. <laughs> You're having a good time, Cornelius. I'm sure you have. And now the fire is burned out. And then we can yeah, see. There's a lot of water here, so I can put it out, the fire. I think it's for you. You don't like coffee. But I do. 
Ja. Yeah. I forgot to talk about my minimal gear today. As you saw, I only have this roll with my reindeer fur and uh, something in that I could use for making my food and my coffee. So a very light travel Viking this time. No rucksack or back frame or something like that. And I think it worked great for such a little hike like this, it's perfect. So now I have to pack my things and uh, roll it in again. And I'll show you how I do that. And uh, yeah, so um, this will be all for now, folks. Cornelius, you want to say goodbye? Cornelius, come here. That's good. We have to say goodbye now, yeah, yeah. Thank you again for watching Kimber Bushcraft. Cornelius and me appreciate that very much. Isn't that right, Cornelius? Having a great time out here? Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be a small, a little video, but uh, yeah, because of the weather and my, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling 100% okay. So I want to get back home into the warm of my home and uh, begin editing this little video. Yeah, and then we hope to see you again on the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.
Ja. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> right, can I just let him out? Because. First, I'll take this and put it in the middle. You have to go. Canoes. Otherwise, people can't see it. Yes, I know. Like this. Then I'll take it this way over here so I can tighten it. And the same in this end. Yeah. And then I can tighten it. One more round up here. Make a little knot here. And the same here. Make a little knot. And it's secured. Then I just take these two and then make a loop here. A little knot here. Yeah. And that's ready. Let's go back home.